Welcome to the Folktale Project, this is Dan Charles. This week I'm bringing you three stories from my favorite collection of tales, Legends of the Rhine. And we're going to start the week with a story of deception gone very, very wrong. This is The Petrified Alp. In the region where the Rhine has its source there towered in ancient times a green alp. This alp belonged to an honest peasant, and along with a neat little house in the valley below formed his only possession. The man died suddenly, and was deeply mourned by his wife and child. Some days after, an unexpected visitor was announced to the widow. He was a man who had much pasture land up in that region but for a long time his one desire had been to possess the alp of his neighbor now deceased, as by it his property would be rounded off to his satisfaction. Quickly making his resolution, he declared to the dismayed woman that the alp belonged to him. Her husband had secretly pledged it to him in return for a loan after the bad harvest of the previous year. When the widow angrily accused him of being a liar, the man produced a promissory note, spread it out, and with a hard laugh showed her his statement was confirmed in black and white. The distressed woman burst into tears and declared it was impossible that her late husband should have made a secret transaction of such a nature. The Alp was the sole inheritance of their son, and never would she willingly surrender it. I will pay you compensation for the renunciation of your claim, although nothing obliges me to do so, declared the visitor with apparent compassion, in the meantime producing his purse. The weeping woman motioned to him to put his gold back and told him to go, which he did. Three days later the widow was summoned before the judge. There the neighbor produced his document and repeated his demand for the possession of the disputed alp. The judge, who had been shamefully bribed, declared the document valid and awarded the alp to the pursuer. The broken-hearted widow staggered home. The new possessor of the Alp, on the other hand, hastened up the mountains at a full gallop. The man could no longer master his impatience to see, for the first time as his legally recognized property, the pasture land he had acquired by deceit. There, for three days, a storm had raged uninterruptedly. As quickly as the soaked ways would permit, he ascended to the high country. Having arrived, he stared around with horrified eyes and fell in a swoon to the earth overcome with consternation. Upon the soft green alp, an unseen hand had rolled a mountain of ice. Of the possession which the unjust judge had assigned to him, nothing was now to be seen. His own pastures, too, which were joined, were covered with snow and ice, whilst the meadows of the other alpsmen below lay spread out in the morning light like a velvet carpet. Towards noon a broken man rode home into the valley, cursing himself and the wicked magistrate who had consented to such an evil transaction. The people there, however, said to each other, The Fronfasten Mutelai, the little mother of the Emberweeks, Frau Salka, passed over our valley last night with her train of maidens, Over the house of that greedy rich man the ghostly company stopped, and by that it is fixed which one must die in the course of the year. And so it happened. Up there, where the youthful Rhine rushes down through deep rocky chasms, the petrified Alp stands to this day, a silent warning from bygone days. And that is the German folktale of... The Petrified Alp. And it's a story that I enjoy because, well, someone tries to gain by deceit and ends up losing. Now, I don't love that the widow and the son have nothing to show for all of this, but at the end of the day, it is just a lesson, isn't it? This is Dan Schultz for The Folktale Project. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Overcast, anywhere you like to get your podcasts. You can follow us on Twitter at Folktale Project. 
You can find us on Auto Radio, TuneIn Radio, Spotify, Audible, anywhere that you like to listen. And you can always head over to Poketailproject.com, where you'll find a new story waiting for you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. As always, thank you so much for listening.